And then ride. Hold on. It's been a little bit since we've done a video. We were in Minnesota for Thanksgiving, and then on the way back we got sick, so we were recovering from that, and then the daylight has just been killer for trying to do a video when it's daylight. We have a, kind of a small amount of time that we can actually do that, and Runa has not been cooperating very well. But we're back, and today I'm gonna show you our solar system. These are our solar panels, they're 280 watts each, and we only have the two right now, but we're going to eventually add two more, so we'll have a total of four. Now we're gonna go over to where we keep everything. And this is under our bay window. And this is what we got going on right now. Napa commercial, D8 battery, Outback Flexmax 80 charge controller, IOTA battery charger for charging the battery when the generator is running. This is the transfer switch, so when we do run the generator, it just transfers right from the using the battery to using the generator power. Um, this is our just Ames DC AC uh, inverter, and actually this is something that we're going to eventually replace because it isn't terribly efficient. Um, it definitely works for what we're using it for, but we'd like to have a little more efficient. Yamaha 7200 Industrial Series Generator, which offers 220 for the washer and dryer. I have our solar-powered Christmas lights and a solar-powered radio that has a humidity and temperature gauge on there if you can see it along with the time and everything. We have these solar powered lights outside basically everywhere. They're motion censored so we have one there, we have one up here, we have one up there we're gonna move um, all the way over to, the, over to the outhouse. So I am inside and I'm gonna show you how we manage our power usage. Um, first off, everything we have has an on and off switch. So here we can turn the inverter on or off. And here we can turn the 12 volt pump on or off. This is our 12 volt station switch. Here is how we um, conserve our power when we're <laughs> running off the battery. Um, what this is, is it's a remote that turns power on and off or give pow gives power to the appliance. So right now this is number two and that is the TV. So if I want to turn the TV on I can just hit on or off and that will give power to the TV. But what that does is it avoids that 0 0.05 wattage draw which is really very minimal but it it's something. So we do that with all of our appliances um, and our internet as well. <laughs> what are you doing? This is our charging station. We have all the 12 volt coming here. We have a 12 volt clock um, and then also we can charge our phones in here. We have a GoPro batteries charging here um, and then I have a couple of US or extra ports in case I need to charge anything else. Okay, the water. Uh, so we actually have the pump turned off right now, but we still get running water because we have a, I think it's a 30 gallon pressure tank um, up in the loft. So um, if we are low on battery, we can just go ahead and turn that pump off and still have access to about 30 gallons of water to use. The washer and dryer uh, these we actually just run when we run the generator and right now um, in the winter that's when we run the freezer as well. Uh, it's gone up to 10 days where we didn't run the generator at all and everything in there is still frozen in the freezer. So um, because it's cold outside we just utilize that as much as possible. <gasps> okay.
And now we're going to talk about our fridge. Um, this is our fridge. It's a deep freeze that we converted into a fridge. It runs off of this thermostat, which just uh, controls the power to the freezer. So it kicks it on or off, depending on what temperature you have it set at. And I think we have it set at like 35 degrees. Um, we have these crates in here to help us with organization because it's kind of awkward accessing everything from the top. Now, how we run our fridge uh, depends on the season. Um, because we get so much solar in the summer, we actually don't have to worry about um, this taking a drain on the battery. It's just in the winter, um, we don't get down to five and a half hours of daylight. So we have to be really conservative about what we use our power for. Because it's winter right now and it's generally colder than 32 degrees outside, uh, what I have been doing is putting jugs out to freeze and then bringing them in here and swapping them out with ones that are sitting in the fridge um, thawing. And this actually just basically just an ice box. So that keeps it um, plenty cool and works great. Okay, Runa and I are ready to go get some stuff done, aren't we? Yeah. All right, so we got our fire going. Catalyst kicked on and we're ready to rock and roll!